Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play King's Bounty Warriors of the North Ice and Fire. We are looking for a dwarf and perhaps Prince Consort Gulliford knows where that guy is. Your Royal Highness, I have a strange question for you. Will you remember, you will, will you remember a certain dwarf called Yannick, who sold jewelry at the palace? Yannick, well of course I remember. He's been a serious drain on royal coffers. Here, just look at this lovely ring I bought from him. Exquisite, is it not? And I pick up a few chains, a necklace for the Queen, a wonderful gold bombonier. The counselor of the treasury tried to spoil the fun, going on and on about salaries of soldiers, but in the end, how many of these drill masters do we really need, right? By the way, way care for fruit cream? The Prince Gulliford pulls a huge box of, out of chocolates from his golden throne. Uh, no, thank you. What happened to him? Uh, who? Oh, the dwarf. No idea. Perhaps he went back to where he came from. Arania. Alania. I think, actually, it was a little worried about him. He was carrying around a bag full of royal gold on the highways these days. Was there anything else? Thank you, Royal Highness. So I'm still thinking, is that the right army combination? These guys are not very effective against undead because, well, this paralyzing ray and this persistence is not really working against undead. On the other hand, those guys will not serve us any better because they will die too easily. Of course, in theory, I can copy them, but I don't think that is what we need. So, is there a quest for us? Did you say you have an augury problem? Yes. People have begun to disappear in the country as well as all kind of animal and livestock. At first purple thought, the wolves and the bears on the royal prole, then the farmers caught a brief glimpse of a couple of times. Gloomgnaw, they nicknamed him. It preys on cattle, but if it can find a cow, it'll hunt a, can find a cow, it'll hunt a human instead. During the day it goes into hiding somewhere in the woods, and when the night falls in, it goes on rampage. The royal forester set out to catch him, but never returned. If you came across this gloom gnar, kill him. Along with my heartfelt thanks, you will also receive a substantial award. Find and kill the beast. That's my kind of work. Um, we can buy new stuff. What do you know about that, guys? He's a commander. Rises moral, personal enemy. We can hell have a hell of a lot of them. They do good damage. Initiative is okay. Speed is not that good. And he only gains evade when he's lost enough troops, so no interest here. And besides that, he has nothing that we need. Okay, um... I think we can finish some quest in this section. Oh shit. Would you to ple too please follow me? Well, at least you, I want to be as far away from the entrance as possible because I get the feeling that you will be a pain in the ass when we try to return. We must go to the um, Alania. Oh, look at this. Oh shit. Oh shit, who's that? Oh crap. There goes the vampire. Well, that's the reason they were lying so much gold. Wonderful. Stay away from me. So we can now pass here easily because the only problem here was the lich and he was neutralized. 
Cannibal killer. That's not a big of a help. I think I know somewhere else where we can go. Is there anything we can buy? None of this is going to help us any. It's a shame, it's a shame, it's a shame. Nothing here either. Oh, wait a minute. Ha ha! That looks good. Please no target, please no target. You walk down the stone steps. Crumble the ravens of time, descend on the low arches into the culture pumps. Suddenly, behind you hear the so resounding clang of a massive door. All your attempts to open are in vain. You're trapped. You shall find your way another way out. Okay, that is not that good, but on the other hand, I have good news for everyone. I was in this dungeon some time ago, in the old serious um, King's Bounty. I think I remember this place a little. I think it was something with the pictures. Was it not? Was I wrong? Oh look, they died. Arm in arm. Oh, isn't that beautiful. By the way, this is the anniversary where I met my wife. Ah. Oh, wait a minute. That one looks different. Once you have pulled the torch from its holder, the wall with a terrible cracking and grinding sound slowly moves to the side, revealing to you a secret passage. Five years, is it? Rage! Leadership! Magic recipe for boots. Yeah, that's, that's what I needed. A recipe for boots. Totally. Awesome. Who needs that shit? Oh, and there are ghosts. I was thinking dwarves, cannoneers, and goblin catapults. Should work marvelously. Nothing here. Nothing there. You are a pain in the ass, sir ghost. He's strong, but if everything go if anything goes wrong, we can still beat the crap out of this ghost. Okay. No problemo here, no problemo. Is there anything here? Well, that's not a very looty area, is it? There is a ghost. Well, perhaps I think he's our only chance out of here. This guy will certainly not help us. very little loot here let's talk to the ghost who's there another innocent soul lost in the dark corridors of the maze a transcendent fellow traveler in despair and grief hi I'm no spirit I'm alive so stop wailing and help me to get out of here live Wanderer, I will help you get out if you help me. It seems I have no short choice. What do you want, spirit? Mine is a long and sad story. How evil Kasautotun made me captive in this catacombs, possessed my spirit and my body. But I do not want to bore you, barbarian. To be free and find peace, I must have a heart, the heart of 
Oxatotum. Isn't that the lich? I just want to touch it. I promise to bring the heart of the pink horn sword, but I but if you need to touch this artifact I'm willing to help. Barbarian, can I trust you? Will you return with the heart? Will you not remain on the surfect surface? I'll be back, I'll give you my word as a Viking. Well listen, this castle was once owned by a duke who was very greedy and pervert prevent. The servants from robbing him, he always locked his doors securely, and so he did not have to go to back and forth. He ordered the workmen dwarves to install a secret mechanism to open the door from the bedroom wall, find the bowl in his bedchamber, and will remove it from its place. It opens the way out. Thank you, spirit. Wait, I'll bring you the heart. Well, from my heart to your heart. And there is no treasure here. Absolutely no treasure. I, 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 I have real problems believing that one. But it seems that where there is nothing here. Except for ghosts, already to eat my soul. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, crap. Well, I bet he didn't see that coming. Nothing here, nothing there. Hey, we found something! After all, and it is... Ugh. Who needs that crap anyway? Okay, a ball. I think he means that one. The ancient mechanism did not disappoint. As soon as you have lifted the cup from the table, you hear the faraway sound of a door opening, and feel a breath of fresh air. The exits open. You drop the cup in the corner and head for the exit. Oh yes, uh, was there something else? No. I'm a greedy snitch, I know. Oh, I really hope there was more in here. It was not very... Not very promising, after all. Well, I have to live with that. Okay, um... What do we do next? Don't think there is much we can do. We can give back the quest for. We can give back the quest for the troops that we transported. But I think that's about it. There's nothing we can loot. We're unable to get any more troops that I want to have. Oh shit. That vampire guy. I don't like him. Hmm. I'll we'll have to get rid of that beholder monster. So, show me your goods. Let me guess nothing of that's gonna help us. We can buy one more of those. They're quite good, even against undead. The rest of the equipment is not helping us any. Okay, did we dig everything out here that we can? I guess so. Where is that beholder guy? Oh, now I see. This is the fastest guy I've ever seen. 
Only good thing is, he is so fast that he will be the only one following us. Oh crap, I hope I don't ruin this. And... Done. Let's move it, move it, move it, move it. And let's talk to the Chief Justice. So... I'm glad and welcome you again, Olaf. How can I help you? Captain, I would like to talk to you about a sergeant by the name of Hecklet. Do you know him? How can I not know? He was a fine soldier indeed. He distinguished himself in battle. Once he received his promotion, he became so proud and arrogant that he particularly considered himself a war hero. And of course, every day he toast my, his own accomplishments. So in no time he went from being a promising warrior to a real profligate, whatever that is. That's how war cripples people, Olaf. So what do you want to talk about? Heckler complained that to me that he hasn't paid his salary for three months. Olaf, now is not the time worrying about salaries when your native Darien is in such danger. Now the general officers and soldiers are all in the same boat and our salary has been least of our problems. I'm not saying this because Heckler spent more time wielding his trunkard than his sword. Let me ask you, Captain, do you think what your soldiers will be willing to give their lives in battle when they see a war hero, someone who distinguished himself in combat, forced to back at the roadside because he did not receive his salary? Damn, I never thought of that. With soldiers like Heckler, he always buys his round when he has money, and they have heard about his exploits in the field. Well, there is his salary, three months, total 500 coins. Go and give it to him. Let him do the money as he pleases. And above all, tell him to stop whining that he didn't get paid. That's excellent, Captain. I think this kind of money in his pocket, Heckler won't be in any shape to talk about anything soon. Okay, Richard, I'm here to talk about the bad poor devil Walter. Yay, gods! Why do I have to repeat myself? We had an agreement. You take my detachment to Renly and I'll give you the salary for that scoundrel. Well, here's the money, 500 cores. Also, I think it's a waste of time helping traders. So, we could buy troops. <sighs> I'm still thinking about that one here. It is powerful and all. Okay, let's let's think this through. This ones will be no help against the undead, so I can park them here. This ones are useful because they're true believers and they can um, heal people. Also, they're doing very very little damage. I know that, but they have no problems with the undead, and I find that very very promising we can switch those guys let me think of think of something do you know what we'll do some spell selling okay that should do something for our poor little income problem. Good. I keep the dispel spells because they're not worth much money and they are very, very helpful. Last hero can all be sold. I find that one of the least useful spells. Rune word we learned, so no use here. Bless we learned, so no use here. Dragon arrows we learned, so no use here. Battle cry, sell them all. Berserker, sell them all. I sell those all. Sell that all. Icy spikes, we sell them all. Negotiations, snowstorm. 
gift. That's crap too. Trap I better keep because trap, even as a scroll, can stop any target from dragon to goblin. No, the number is not the point. That is the most useless spell I know in my life. What is rune chain? Exorcism we keep, the rest we keep. What is that? Deals magic damage to the enemy. Spell can be greatly enhanced by collecting runes from allied troop. Okay, well, we keep two of uh, one of those. I keep that because that's a shamaning spell. Um, we could sell some of those. We are producing them in big numbers and we could use the money on the other hand I think we have some money together now we could buy that but I think we keep the money to buy troops at least I hope that's a good idea not sure if we have enough money for what I have in mind Uh oh. Let's outmaneuver that guy and let's hope the other is not coming that fast. Hello! Did you speak to Richard? I'm hoping you get my salary as soon as possible. The people in the inn are anxious for me to stop by. I've talked to him and it went well. Here's your salary 500 coins. Well, you ought to hurry over to celebrate your sudden discharge for the army. Just don't forget to tell the owner that I sent you. Well, what a wonderful quest. Oh crap, Goose. guess who's back? The big ugly guy. Okay. Whistler, I sent you a customer. Ah, there he is. Here's your magic crystal. Does he sell any more now? No, he does not. Crap. Well, I can send him another one. And I'm just getting one crystal per customer, right? That's not as much as I hoped for. Talk to that guy. It's you. Hick. Good to see you, my friend. Already talked to your Clarus, Mister of a Captain. As promised, here's your salary, Heckler. Five hundred coins. A war five hundred coins. Well, Olaf, you're a real benefactor. I remember this forever. So where's the nearest pub? You can't miss it. Tell the Ola Olaf sent you. Wonderful. And all that work for two crystals. Would you believe that? Of course you would not. Uh, how strong are you, by the way? Invincible. Crap. We're not even getting much XP out of that, are we? Oh, crap. Guess who's come there? The vampire again. <laughs> He does like undead and demons. The problem is I don't think that these guys will be very useful in the future. But they're very good because they can do this rage thing and I need to train rage. That's the reason they're in the army. Not because they're that effective. Whistler, I sent you a customer, soldier, and there he is. And here's your crystal. Okay. Well, lucky me. I know where to find what we need. It's 
in order to win uh, one way I have another idea I have another idea how good are these guys sniper stone no mini penalty they're not that good at doing damage sadly What is that? Stuns, pushes the enemy back. But they are ranged fighters with a certain potential, are they not? Thirty thousand and I get six of them. Sadly I don't think they will be that effective. Well, if you vote for the Cyclopses in our army, please do so. Just write it to me. Write, Boris, we want Cyclopses. And I will see what I can do for you. So we'll now have to travel a bit because I need to buy some troops. And I have a pretty fair idea where we can find what we need. So, first station to go is Westling. We could try to go in toe and toe with the... How are they called? Orcs that roam the island? On the other hand... I think they will be pretty strong and we're not exactly that strong. We have some rune to spend, so if we have any problem with happiness, we can do this simply by spending runes. Because I think the um, our friends will not like the idea of having undead in the army. So, welcome to the army. Yes, I thought something like that would happen. But, don't fear, I can do something about that. And morale is normal again. Wonderful. So... What do we know about those guys? How many can I have? 400, yes, but they die like fleas. Accurate. What is hardened? I uh, know, that's of no help to us. Magic missile. Attacks remotely. World of Spirits. Additional on thirty percent cannot be turned undead. Magic protection, persistent of mind, trance, runic knowledge. Okay. Holy shit. Look at this. That is terrible. Oh god, are they expensive. Do you have the same thing? Um, no, two word only causes extra damage. They at least are a little bit happy. So what I want now is... Goblin Catapult Man. But I think we'll have to go to the islands of the undead to get these units. 
and I fear we'll have to get some money before that. Hmm. Okay. This is the wildest army combination I've ever had. So, we will not need this guys against Prince Consort because we will start with a fair amount of rage anyway. Do you sell what I need? No, of course not. They can do poison damage, but that does not work against undead. And he does not sell what I need. Just glorious. Just glorious. Okay, I want orcs ca or catapults, goblin catapults, because they do extra damage against towers, and we'll have so many tower fights, ladies and gentlemen. We have, a, we will have a ton of tower fights, and I can promise you, we will need every last damage point we can do about towers. You go away, big bad ship. So, God damn it, we're so broke. Oh, I can sell the eggs. I can sell the spider eggs and the, the snake eggs and all that crap. That should be worth something. But of course, first I must find a place where I can buy the units I need. Which is obviously not here. And I forgot something. <laughs> I have no way to make money here. How many can I have? 47. How many can I afford? A uh, 74. Oh, that's wonderful. What a level are they? They are only level 3. That's not that good. We uh, cannot use the commander thing. Adrenaline. Vulnerable to fire. That's no problem. Uh, greedy, I don't care about that. Siege commander. Hmm. They would make sense in a goblin army. But so they will just have to do. Well. How much troops can you take over? 8,600. Well, must be enough. Must simply be enough. Can't change that now. We're totally broke again. Guess what? As always. I have a talent. On the other hand, on the other hand, I think you enjoy it. And I just noticed I have no way to resurrect people now. Because if I do not have the monks with me, I cannot resurrect. That is a problem. That is a problem. Because you can bet your ass off that I will not be able to win the next fight without losses. So... We do it this way, I think. So, back to Greenwood we go. 
Not the best army composition I ever had, I know. It's a strange army composition. What I find strange is that we're only getting one crystal per quest we do for the guy. Actually, this looks to me like we got no crystal. Or was it runes that he gave us? Don't think so. Can't imagine that. We could put that thing up like hell. For more intellect, which will mean more damage. But that will cost us 30 blue runes. A nine of each other. But I totally like the idea of that skill. Hmm. Also must put that up once or two. But this is plus six intellect. This does not give intellect. This gives intellect. Same level as this, but there's the effect is much greater plus 21 mana I think we're gonna need a lot of mana later on slingers goblins cyclopses and catapults I think for the fight against Prince Consort we should wear that thing Okay. Is he a good choice? Yes, we're up against undead, so I think I think he is. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So According to the tips I received, I run by Prince Consort without knowing it. Oh, wait a minute. You're strong, but this might be quite helpful. On the other hand, though, not as helpful. Can the Raven do anything for us? No. He can relay sagas to us, but that's all. This costs 7, next will cost 7 too, so that's 14. Hmm. This costs 6, so tell you what. Fuck that. I'm pushing that up to the limit. This will give one more intellect to a price I cannot yet pay. This is not going to help that much. That we will buy soon enough. Do we have anything that only costs red runes? This is maximum rage. Nice idea, but not what I need. This costs blue, not what I need. I'm not going to use that, because I don't like hoarding runes. Well, I do at the moment, but not later on. This will give archer attack, but the price is too high in my thinking. So I think that is a wonderful time to end the Let's Play. If you have any good ideas how to beat Prince Consort, Please tell me, I would be glad to know. Until then, next time, bye!